love bugs this is and back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my grown extended beautiful family as always thank you so much for the love and support it is truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please drop a line i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift or a good vibe that you truly appreciate it please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it would be greatly appreciated um the video i'm doing right now is called twin flame 101 hey okas being determined to break the toxic barriers appreciating all insight your circumstances taught you it's true you're supposed to be grateful for that a lot of times it's hard for us to be how am i going to be grateful when this hurt me how am i going to be grateful when this had me set back how is it you know how am i going to be grateful for you know all these different things that i'm going through is toxicity is trauma bonding is karmic cycles is soul ties all on a whole new different level these are the things that's teaching us how to grow these are the different things that's telling us everything that that brings back you know it is like what other people are doing is mirroring what we needed to be able to have within ourselves and then when you get to that point on healing you'll see like how how damaging different things can be or how bad how good it can be when you allow yourself to heal how bad it can be when you don't allow yourself to heal and these are the different things that's going on where everything is teaching you you know a lot of times like oh i don't want to deal with that person because they're toxic i don't want to deal with the, that person because it's, they, they they have a lot of drama and then it's just allowing yourself to say okay when it's like that that was that time for you to go within and heal whatever it is they gravitated them to be that way or gravitate not for them to be that way because everybody got a choice on how they want to be but gravitated um that brought it towards you you know so you can stop getting people that's coming in like that because a lot of times we feel like everybody that comes to us you know is it has to be like oh gosh so somebody was negative coming to me does that mean i'm negative no there's a lot of times that universal bring people into your life because they needed you in that way you're some kind of blessing that they needed maybe you're that person that overcome uh not being confident or overcome uh the lack of self-love and then you there's somebody that's coming in with that and you're showing them hey i've been through this you know you got this you know i i went through this that and the third and it took me through, you know, this, this, and this, and that, through all the, these different winding roads and stuff like that. But I overcome them in some kind of way. You know, I heal from it in some kind of way. And when you're you're going through those different things, you're you're breaking those barriers of that. You can even it will be you. A lot of times we feel like things have not changed within our lives, but then the next thing you know, the next thing you know, it'll be. Uh, when when you get around certain energies or you get around certain people you'll see it'll be it'll be damaging to your soul to be even just in there i mean you even try to make small talk and that small talk will feel so uncomfortable or just the energy they have it'll feel so uncomfortable and those are the different things that's um taking place oh it's like that truck is loud as i don't know what uh you know it'll be taking place where you'll see dag the change is really taking place i see how different things that i used to be able to be okay about being around you know now it's like oh no i can't i can't deal with that i can't, I can't be around that or you know those all those different things and so and when these when these things are happening like that you know you're noticing the changes in the world and then it's just like when you face it and you understand why you had to go through these things and why you had to endure it it'll hit you in so many different ways where you're like that I appreciated this most because it allowed me to be selective on the friends that I, you know, I, my circle that I tend to keep. Because I'll tell people real quick, just because they're in a circle don't mean it's in your corner. You know, not everybody's in your life. You know, they've been in your life for a good intention, you know. So, but when you go through things where you, like you've been in a situation where friends and family manipulated you in all kind of ways, used you as the narcissistic punch, punching bag, or thought you were disposable, or you were op all those different things when you allow yourself to choose it's like you don't got to choose me and when you choose me it was beneficial for you and then when it wasn't i you know it was obsolete whatever you want to call it you know it you didn't need me you know and then it'll be just like i choose me 
And when I choose me, it's not going to allow me to entertain anything that is not projecting the things that I want reciprocated to me. If it's not that, then I'm not going to allow that. That means you breaking barriers. You're going to allow yourself. You hold high respect for yourself on what you're not going to entertain. You know, there'll be different times where you, you're not going to communicate with people that are comfortable with misunderstanding you, comfortable of always uh, being combative with everything that you're saying. Even when they know that you're right, they're going to try to sit up here and find a loophole between that to try to make it an issue. You're an issue. You're the problem. You're difficult. You're crazy. You know, all these different things. When you become that person where you like, uh-uh, I ain't going to do this. Uh, if this is not if this is not respecting me, it, it, I'm going to be distant. You chose distance over disrespect. You know, you chose, you know, self-love off of, uh, you know, trauma bonding. All these different things. And you'll start, you'll start appreciating that. I had to go through a toxic vibe where it showed me what part of myself there was toxicity that I had to be able to heal from so I can quit attracting stuff like that. I want to start attracting things that motivate me. I want to attract people that want to see me win. I want people that is going, you know, I'm helping them get to that next chapter. And they're catapulting me to where I need to be. Or they're going to give me the insight not to sabotage me. Because a lot of times when people see your potential, they'll op they'll send you in the opposite direction. Knowing that they're sending you out in the pastures because they see you as competition. Or they see the fact is that you can make, you know, a lot of times people get pissed off just because God will give you so little and you can make so big out of it you know you can manifest you you know you can be that person that's homeless out there and you can manifest the whole empire and you the ceo of it like, wait a minute last time i seen you over here asking for a dag on some change you know for a coffee or something like that now you own the whole coffee business what you say you know and all those different things so it's allowing you to appreciate all the different things that you have faced you know, these circumstances has brought you in some kind of line of blessings in, in, in that situation. But it also brought you so many lessons that you had to live by. So many different things that you're learning from that you can appreciate. Maybe it's just the fact is I, I blew my money all the time. I wasn't responsible with my money. So God made me go through a struggle. So when I finally got that blessing to come in. I didn't just go throw my money away. I invested it. I saved, you know, I was, you know, being, you know, not saying being cheap, but being reasonable with my money because you may not know when the next dime going to come in, especially if it's not coming in, you know, like clockwork like that. Then it's just the fact is when guys like, okay, I'm going to see what they're going to do with this. Are they going to just go, go at it and stuff like that? Or are they going to do, you know, do something what they need to do, you know, to invest or they remember the fact is they may have went through something and they they just threw all the money out and just bought everything that you know it's they he always tell you it's okay to treat yourself you know especially if you know you haven't treated yourself in a while and you had to be nickel and dime and a lot of things he wants you to be able to treat yourself but also but just don't go buck wild with it you know those are the different you know toxic barriers that you're you know you're you're changing by breaking that as well because you appreciate the fact is when you you were struggling you know, you know what it felt like, you know, to see everybody else doing different things and you sit up here like, or, you know, you, you know, everybody eating and you starving, you know, all those different things. And it's just like universe wanted to be able to treat you like that. You know, universe wanted you to be able to learn like that. Universe wanted you to be grateful for that. Because a lot of times it's like when we, they always say, let go with love and light and show appreciation and love for what it taught you. And you looking like you ready to smack them with that love and light. I'll give you that love and light, all right, and show you appreciation with my foot, you know. But then it'll be just like when you calm and down and get out your feels, you'll look like if you didn't know this. You wouldn't know what your strength was. If you didn't get hurt, you wouldn't know what love meant. Truly meant. You know. You wouldn't know if you didn't give up this situation and sacrifice. You wouldn't know what change or better was going to come in for you. That's why they're telling you. Appreciate that. And when you let it go. You know, it may be hard to let it go. Because it would be something that really touched the nerve. That really done irritated your soul. But let that go. Let that go. Because that, that person, that situation on taught you so much into your life that is bringing, is, is really magnifying something in a powerful way you may not yet see. And those are the different things that they're really telling us to really move forward and push forward and, you know, being able to understand you're breaking barriers just because you choose to be different. 
just when you choose to allow yourself to get comfortable and being uncomfortable, you breaking barriers then. When you're allowing yourself to be free and not worry about what's going on around the un unknown and allow myself to stop playing safe. Stop being silent when they're telling me I need to be loud. Being able to stay into my piece of presence when so many different things is irritating my soul to make me want to come out of character. Breaking barriers. You know, and, that, and you know, all those different things is coming through. You know, you're practicing that. In so many different ways, you're practicing that. Just just because of the different things that's coming in. Because obstacles, God will come in. And you know, just like they say right now, it's that, 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 that change we have to go through by uh, eliminating toxic patterns, habits, beliefs, limited beliefs, you know, intrusive, whatever it is, is whatever is no longer serving us. That, that needs to be broke free. That needs to let go. Stop allowing ourselves to be in these daggone vibrations because of our pride. And we end up repeating cycles over again because of your pride. Because you don't want to say sorry. You don't want to be honest. You don't want to hold yourself accountable. All those different things. When you allow yourself to get out that way of your own, your own growth and get out of the way of that, you're breaking your barriers then. Because there'll be different things where Universal brings something in to trigger you in some kind of way because they know your weakness. Devil knows your weakness, but God is like God is doing it. He's wanting you to eliminate that. You are strong. Anything that's that you only have control over your actions, how you look at things, how you see things, and how you move forward in things. You don't have no control over certain things that just ain't going your way. Yes, a lot of times he know we living through a human experience, so there are gonna be different times when we knew something's gonna supposed to come a certain day and it didn't come a certain day. Then we get upset and it's like, okay, but if, is this in our control? Is there anything we change? No. Okay, then we had to put it out of mind and just know that maybe there's a reason why that happened. We can get mad saying, okay, um, we had to go ahead and do a, a different route to go to work today. You know, and they're telling you, okay, don't be in your negative mind if you're trying to calculate all this stuff. And just allow yourself to go towards that reroute because there's something that the reason why it happened. Next thing you know, you get to work. Some co-worker like, man, did you hear about what happened today? It was like people stuck in a dag on pile up because it was like something. Um, there was a sinkhole that came popping in. You know, for example, God forbid if that happens to somebody. But the way the world works nowadays, you never know. The sinkhole end up turning to another sinkhole. And then we end up opening up a whole new portal we didn't know in the middle of the daggone highway. And we wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> you know, we wouldn't be surprised. Because like that, that whole, did you see that portal open today? You know, it'll be just surprising when you see the different things that's going on in the world. And it'll just leave you shook. But it's just about you breaking barriers. And being able to understand, it's like you becoming teachable. You see the different things you had to go through to be able to understand this is why that happened. You know, it brought forth an insight that I needed, the wisdom that I needed to help me grow, help me get to that next pinnacle I'm trying to reach. And a lot of times when you end up learning a lot more than you expected, you have to you actually surpass like two or three more pinnacles than you expected to reach. Just because you allowed yourself to be open to learn new things. Being able to appreciate the mistakes that you made. Being able to appreciate the hurt that was projected on you. Or the hurt you projected on somebody else. Learning how to forgive others and forgive yourself. Being understanding. You know, not being able to force healing and seeing down somebody's throat. They clearly don't want to give you like, shoot, they want to choke. So allow yourself to let, don't, shoot, hey, you just feed yourself. <laughs> just feed yourself. Just keep doing what you're doing. When it comes to that that moment, we all are on our road. We have to understand everybody doing what they got to do. But also, right now, when the energy is really heavy, and and the um change is really taking place, is making a lot of people uncomfortable. Is making a lot of people pissed. It makes a lot of people combative. It makes a lot of people want to start do some things that's not supposed to be happening, but they're doing it. You know. But this is at that point. We can go ahead. We can't force somebody else to stop being toxic. But you can force yourself to be. Like you see where your toxicity can take you. You see where toxicity can lead you to where you don't want to be at. What kind of person, what kind of element you're, you're forming up in that vibration. And when you see where that leads you to and you learn valuable lessons from where those different things led you to. There will be different times where you go help out somebody and don't realize they done set you up. 
on some situation. Now y'all both sitting up in the back of a police car and you sitting up here like, man, my mom gonna kill me. You know, it's like me. I was just, I didn't even know what was going on. And this fool knew what they were doing and then to be mad. Then it was telling you, you know, you can't be friends with everybody. Everybody ain't your friend. That's not your friend. And they tell you that. You have to be able to understand these are the th different things that's going on where you have to be able to really learn and appreciate that. So when you did go through a situation like this and where your mom and them had to bond you out and, then, you know, it could have been a thing where they, you know, that person was nice enough to say, hey, they didn't know what was going on. This was all me. You know, that'd be a miracle when somebody do some mess like that. Because sometimes you're like, shoot, if I'm going through it, you're going through it too. And you don't even know what the heck was going on. You be mad as I don't know what really about. It's like, you don't really make me catch a charge. And for that, I'm going to be doing it. You know, they be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get you. And, you know, and be something like that. But then there'll be a life lesson. It's like, there'll be different things where, you know, your mama and them probably told you, hey, don't be hanging out with them. They bad news. You know, and then we are. Oh, you don't understand my life. You don't understand. Not thinking our parents. This is like, we be doing that because I used to do that to my mom. You don't understand me. You don't understand my life. You don't know my life. You don't know me like that. And they see, you know, I end up being the back of a police car. <laughs> be in trouble. Be in trouble. About to go to juvie. All this different bad on stuff because I didn't want to listen to my mama telling me. She knew. She don't hung out with crowds like that. She knew how kids were. She knew how those kids were. And then, you know, end up being like that. And next thing you know, it took that moment the way you had to keep bumping your head. No, that's not you. That's not your tribe. This, this going to end up him and you and putting you in a position you ain't supposed to be in. There are many people that are probably sitting up in prison right now mad as I don't know what because they were hanging out with the wrong folks at the wrong time and they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And you caught it just like the person that caught it and you could have been clueless on what was going on. And then the next thing you know, because you held on to those toxic barriers, they're going to let you know, hey, that's not for you. And then you learn that lesson like, look, man, you, you got too much going on, and I can't be a part of that. I'm trying to live my life. I'm trying to get to heaven. I'm trying to get my pinnacles. I'm trying to get my abundance. And with you, I can't do that. Because a lot of times you don't realize just because of the company you keep breaks you, they're going to block you just from the good things that you deserve in life just because of the company you keep. Just because of stuff you entertain. You know. And those are the different things that's going on. So you allow yourself to keep breaking those bar barriers. Allow yourself to keep being blessed. Allow yourself to keep being grateful for everything that you got going on. Even when it, at times you don't want to feel like you're being. You don't want to be grateful. There ain't nothing grateful going on. But you still give gratitude. Have that attitude of gratitude. Saying God I, you know. You may be showing me something I really can't understand right now. It really done got me in a hot seat. And I really ain't liking what you're doing right now. I really don't like you. But I'm going to show you that gratitude. No problem. You're going to like me after this. You're going to love me afterwards. You're going to like it. Trust me. You know, and that'll be how God's doing you. So you keep allowing yourself to go. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video. Um, and I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. You know, it's all about, you know, networking. A lot of people uh, hit me up when they don't feel comfortable enough of dropping their business out on the two of you. So they hit me up on email or DM me. And, you know, and we just handle it from there. And just be able to have a deeper understanding about your path of purpose and where, you know, universe and God is trying to lead you towards and what could and could be the reason why certain things happen and where it could be leading you to as well. So I love being able to help out like that do the best I can and what we speak on is confidential so uh, you know um, try to do you know let it do what it do you know we're all you all rise into our occasion of being better people trying to get formed to the best person best version of ourselves we pass work in progress Pro uh, progress we are just doing the finishing tests on the masterpiece I don't know why my tongue wants to sit up here and, and want to sit up here and um the heck is it going on? I want to sit up here and get tongue tied today. So, but yeah. And if you also, uh, you watch, I mean, you watch, you listen to podcasts, you know, I also put my podcast out there as well. And on my community section of my channel, if you're willing to listen to it or wanting to listen to it, or even if you're having that urge where something's leading you to do podcasts, please get up with me, you know, um, cause the app that I use is very easy, simple. I'm not tech savvy, but those, you know, I love the, the app that I use for that. So, um, and if you ever felt generous enough to drop a donation cash app there is also as well, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life. I'm sending so many abundance of vibes towards your way. 
20 million times fold to help you keep going, stay persistent and consistent, be determined and motivated, keep going no matter what your surroundings look like, no matter how many times you don't have a setback, it's preparing you for something you never imagined, so keep going and stay woke, never sleep on yourself. Hey, the devil is a lie because he see sit up here, he, he devil busy, don't give him nothing to do. Okay, don't give him nothing to do. Just keep on going. Allow yourself to keep being resilient, okay? Because he sees that light and that potential in you, and he will send any and everything and do any and everything. Do not try to make you give up and stop. That means because you never know. He will make you do this today just because your blessings may come in the door tomorrow. So you stay woke. You keep going. You have that vision. Live it out. You got this. Even through social distancing, make sure you, you give out love, like positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. All those things will really take somebody a long way. And just because you did that without even wanting anything in return, it's going to take you even further. I hope you have a blessed, prosperous week. Be responsible and safe for everything that you do. Much love to you. Love and light. Pos I said positivity. God, dog. Peace. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Shalom. I say grand risings. Much love to you. Talk soon.